What's up guys? So today, again, I have another LEGO RC car. Now this one can be converted into a track racer like it has here, like an on-road uh, low riding racer, and also with these wheels into like a little buggy. As you might have noticed here, I took the uh, car propeller frame and I modified it so that it could fit. There's a drive shaft right here. So how this uh, actually drive belt system works is you got my um, my DJI Phantom motor up here where I screwed in um, a Lego pulley system and then a larger pulley on the bottom. And this motor right here is probably one of the most efficient motors I've ever seen. Um, it has a lot of torque, so it works perfectly for this application, like it doesn't have any uh, slipping before you, you start going. And the battery goes down about 5% per 30 minutes, which is insane. I got a 220 milliamp hour battery on there, and it just, it lasts forever. I've been driving it for about an hour, maybe, or so, so and it's gone down from 100% to 85%, and it's just, it's crazy. So if we take a look under the hood here, I've actually upgraded the servo since the last, um, version of this car and I have a 9 gram servo on there so I can get some more travel and so it doesn't stutter as much and moves I got dual rates too and just glued onto this little Lego block right there got the battery compartment got a 12 amp ESC right there uh, the motor doesn't need any more than that even though on the Phantom it runs on 18 amp ESCs um, and then I installed this uh, hatchback so you can, uh, it acts as like an anti-roll protection frame if it does roll. Everything's really nice and compact, and it goes a little bit faster than my Rustler actually, which I believe is clocked at like 35 miles per hour. So I comfortably say this goes about 30 to 40 miles per hour, which is pretty insane for a Lego car. Now for the rubber band back here, I'm using a hair tie, and those things are pretty indestructible, but you need a specific size, otherwise there won't be enough tension, and therefore torque for it to work properly. As you can see, I still have the suspension here, when you push it down, the whole car can move down, so that, that makes for a really, really smooth ride, and it's really nice. I think this car could actually have potential to enter, or at least be on par with a lot of uh, smaller, around maybe 1 12th, 1 14th scale um, uh, racing cars that are on road that I've seen like over at the Camarillo track. I don't know their rules, um, and I'm sure most of the rules vary from different track to track, but it would be hilarious to see this thing race. I can also actually put my, um, my little FPV camera on there, and of course I can probably mount the run cam right there. Um, and I've already tried it with FPV, I stick it right there, and it works really well. So without further ado, let's see how it drives. You don't have to zoom in. Oh! <laughs> Straight!
Oh. No. <laughs> Yeah.